Hello, my name is James Stidley, here again at Full Potential Learning Academy. Today's lecture will be going over dangling and misplaced participles. We'll be going over how correcting dangling misplaced participles will help you in future tests and grammar questions. In today's lecture, we'll be going over what participles are and how they are part of verbs and adjectives. We'll be going over dangling and misplaced participles and how to correct them with examples. And finally, we'll have some practice to help you master what you have learned today. A participle is a verb form that comes as a helping verb or as an adjective. We can see this in the examples below with the two participles. You have present participles, which are verb forms that end in ing, such as helping, walking, and waking. And we also have past participles with ed and en endings, coiled, written, and pushed, etc. As a side note, be sure not to confuse participles that are present with gerunds. All participles are adjectives or verb descriptors, while gerunds act as nouns in a sentence. Make sure you make note of which participle is which and keep them in mind as we study ahead. A participle phrase usually acts as a descriptor or a modifier. If left unchecked, however, it can lead to ambiguousness and confusion in the sentence towards the reader. For example, after studying all night, the professor postponed the test to next week. This is confusing because it sounds like the professor studied for his own test. An addition must be made to the sentence in order to rectify this mistake. The sentence reading like this, after having studied all night, I was frustrated to learn the professor postponed the test next week, is better because now we know the subject of the person studying, I, is the one frustrated that the professor postponed the test. That sounds way better than before. Another example below is a misplaced participle. Bob found his watch walking to the bathroom. It sounds confusing because we can't believe a watch could walk to the bathroom. So we have to rearrange it to say, walking back to the bathroom, Bob found his watch. By checking for dangling misplaced participles, we can understand how sentences could be wrong in this way and correct them on tests and exams to ensure we get the best possible score. Here are some more sentences to help us better understand dangling and misplaced participles. We see dangling participles in the first sentence below. Watching from the bridge, the fireworks bloom spectacularly from the water. This doesn't add up because it sounds like the fireworks were watching themselves from the bridge. So another addition must be made to the sentence so that way it is less ambiguous. As we watched from the bridge, the fireworks bloom spectacularly from the water. This makes more sense because the subject of we is clearly viewing the fireworks bloom spectacularly in the sentence. That was a dangling participle. Misplaced participle is below. Exhausted from the day's climbing, the looming storm forced the hikers to pitch an early camp. This also doesn't add up because it sounds like the storm is exhausted, which doesn't make any sense. So we need to rearrange the participle in the sentence. The looming storm forced the hikers, exhausted from the day's climbing, to pitch an early camp. That makes sense because we know the storm is forcing the hikers, who are exhausted, to pitch a camp. By replacing the misplaced participle, we understand it better. And that is some practice for the next practice to go over. Here is some practice to help you master what you have learned today. Your instructions are to circle the participle and correct the sentence if it needs correcting for each sentence shown below. One of these sentences is already correct on its own, so you need to identify only the participle. Try now to identify the correct sentence and identify which one is not needed to be changed. Good luck! Here are the answers to the previous questions from before. The first sentence that the plan must be changed to planned so that way we know that the senator was angry at its opponent, not the plan the senator had itself, because a plan cannot be angry at someone. The second sentence, we must add additional words to the word concern so that way it makes more sense as well. 
was mainly concerned will lead us to know that David was the one lacking sailing skills and not da the concern himself, themselves, itself. Words. The next sentence, before I started working, is better than before working because we understand that no one thought that the person couldn't hold a responsible position before they started working for the bank because they didn't know the person before they started working at the bank. Finally, the last sentence is actually correct. Simply circle the participle wanting because the wife does not want to be tricked by her husband again, but she does want to not be tricked. So that is correct. Be sure to watch out for dangling and misplaced participles when they occur. Missing them could lower your score and lead to potential missed points, and finding them early on could add to your score overall. Next lecture, we'll be going over other misplaced modifiers and going over other rules of grammar to conform to to ensure grammatical accuracy. Thank you for watching. Teach you next time. This guide was brought to you by the McGraw-Hill SAT Guide, Chapter 15, Lecture 7, Dangling Misplaced Participles. Once again, thank you for your time. Thank you.